Crohn's disease is going to be what? Usually, usually it's uh, presenting right where the end of the small intestine or the terminal ileum connects to the large intestine or the colon in the cecum. So we, it's usually in the ileocecal region. Okay, so the, the small bowel goes into the large bowel at that area, the cecum's in between. That's where the problem usually is. 70 to 80 times, 80 percent of the time it usually is. Can you make that examine by, by feeling the tummy and say, oh, you got pain right there, that might, or do you have to do studies? That's, that's a great question. Very rarely, if you get a patient who is thin enough, you can actually fill the actual protuberant, uh, it's almost a mass-like protuberance, and then then comes the, the part where we're really doing the blood work, we're getting all the studies that we need, and usually a colonoscopy is required to make a diagnosis of Crohn's disease. So when you get all the way down to where you want to be, down in the cecum and the ileocecal area, what are you looking for? If we're looking for a pa if we think a patient has Crohn's disease, uh -huh. we're looking for any sign of inflammation, and that's the key. What's it going to be? What are the so signs of inflammation? So usually the classic term is a serpiginous or snake-like ulcer that you can see and it's, it doesn't discriminate. It can be on a fold, it can be down below, it can even create something called a stricture or a narrowing in the small intestine and that's where that ulcer has inflamed, then it heals and it inflames and that can even block our, our scope from advancing from that area into the small intestine. Do you have to get biopsies? Better believe it. While we're looking at an ulcer, let's say, and we can take that forcep, biopsy the edge of the ulcer, remove it, send it off in a, in a jar of uh, formalin for a pathologist to look at, and they can actually make the diagnosis. And so the pathologist is looking for, well, he's looking for what he sees, but when he sees inflammation, he automatically, you may have a problem with, this patient may have. Crohn's disease. You got it. And that's, that's something we, we sort out a lot in, in, our, in my practice in particularly because we're always looking and I say this looks like Crohn's disease. There are a few other things that could be going on. The patient could be taking a lot of NSAIDs, ibuprofen, Motrin, whatnot. But usually if it's a chronic inflammatory condition, more than likely it's Crohn's.